Hello guys, my name is JV and welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to talk about the top 5 flanks in Paladins for now. Again, this list was hard to make like all the other top 5 videos that I've done so far. For making this list I've kept a few things in consideration like the difficulty of the character, the mobility, damage output and the upcoming nerves. If you have a different top 5 let me know into the comments and if you like this video leave a like and subscribe as well. Now without further ado, let's begin. On number 5 I have placed Sky. To start flanking Sky is an easy champion to pick up. She is very mobile and her abilities are pretty self-explanatory. With her wrist crossbow and her poison ball she downs the enemy pretty quick. If you are in a dangerous situation the smoke screen can help you out. With this ability you can escape your sticky situation. With the talent smoke and dagger you can even help out your teammates with your smoke screen. With this talent, your allies can heal in your smoke screen, what gives them maybe the health that they need to push and win the game. If you activate her ability hidden, you can also enter stealth mode for 7.5 seconds. If you want to reposition yourself, you can easily do that with this ability. With all that in mind, I have placed her on number 5. Going on to number 4, I have placed Zin. Zin is a really good balanced character, great mobility and great damage. A good Zin can also be annoying as hell when you master them. You can counter a lot of attacks with him, what makes him hard to kill and deflecting can also be your escape if you're in trouble. His ult is perfect to go around and pick out a victim from the enemy team. You can easily pick out the healer and give the team a great advantage. Not dealing enough damage with Jin, you can also use his talent Yomi to add 150 damage to your Inferno Blade to give the enemy no chance. On number 3 I have placed Talus. In the Radiant Stars update, Talus will get some changes. Two of them are nerves in the cards and the other one is that his weapon is going to be slightly buffed. With this in mind, he still makes a great character. He is a little bit harder to learn in my opinion if I compare him to Zin or Sky, but I think this is really just more a personal opinion. His mobility is awesome with his Blitz Upper, you can charge forward and do some damage in the process. And with his Rune of Travel, you can plan your escape in advance and hop in and out of battle. Then we have Maeve on number 2. Maeve is one of my favorite flanks and her mobility is just insane. With her pounce you can dash forward and strike your enemy very quickly. And with your prowl movement speed increases by 50% and you get more jump height as well. If you want to play Maeve you have to spend some time to master her, but she has some room for mistakes. With her ability 9 lives you will heal yourself for 400 and reset pounce and prowl. This gives you the chance to catch your breath and start again. And at last, on number one, I have placed Androxus. With Androxus, no doubt about it, you need to have a good aim. What makes him difficult to master, in my opinion. With his another step, he is extremely mobile. You can dash up to three times in the direction that you want to go. With this, you can secure the high ground when needed in battle. If you get in trouble or get shot from an enemy, you can use reversal. You absorb the attack and launch it back with a blast for your enemy. This can be very powerful with Instal and Godslayer. Alright, I hope you have enjoyed this top 5. If you have different choices in yours, let me know in the comments. With that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye!